everyone, my name is Fair Ed. Um, I'm not Robertson and I'm not a public speaker, so first of all, thank you so much for inviting me to talk on this forum. I want to share with you some thoughts which I've been having and what I've learnt from being exposed to patients through my work as a nurse during this COVID-19 pandemic. I'm an oncology nurse and needless to say, my patients have been very scared and unsettled as a result of coronavirus. They are immunocompromised, which means that they are at greater, they've got reduced immune system and they're at greater risk of catching infections, which affects them in a more substantial way than it would affect the rest of us. My patients are understandably very nervous about what the implications would be if they were to catch coronavirus and fall ill. There is a general sense of pachat in the air, this is an exclusive to oncology patients or anyone suffering with COVID-19. I, for one, am naturally quite a laid back and relaxed person, as I'm sure many of you are. However, with the changes to our normal daily routine, having children and spouses and being stuck home all day, needing to socially distance from family and friends and colleagues, not being able to be with anyone for Shabbos and Yom Tov, it can trigger a sense of unease and worry. I believe that this overwhelming feeling of pachad and unease c comes from a situation of sophic, um, which is doubt. We are living in these times when we don't know what's happening. We don't know if we're going to fall ill. We don't know when things are going to resume back to normal and when things are going when life will return to normal. And it's all this doubt and confusion that generates a sense of pachad. So what's the Torah's perspective on Sophic and Pachad and how do we go from Pachad to having Menucha Sanefesh and ultimately Simcha? One answer is that we all need to double our efforts to work on our Emunah and Betochen and Hashem, especially during these times. We need to remember and really focus on the knowledge that Hashem runs the world and that everything he does is for our best, even when it doesn't seem to be the case and especially when it doesn't seem to be the case. We need to remember that he is our loving father and king and he always acts in our best interest. Um, this is an extremely difficult thing to do and it's something that we can work on every day. Chazal tell us that Ein Simcha Kataras Hasfekas, there is no joy like that of removing doubt. In other words, when we remove the sophic from our hearts and truly believe that Hashem is always with us, even in the struggles and hardships, that can lead to the ultimate Simcha. A simple example of this is if you imagine that you're in a restaurant and there are two options on the menu and you just can't decide which one to order. When the waiter comes and you ask him what does he recommend, he might he can turn to you and say, actually, unfortunately, today we don't have dish A. Um, this could become a huge relief because there's a weight lifted off you and only the one option. And it's almost as if Hashem has made that decision for you. Um, similarly, we say in Sheva Brachas, Sameach to Samach Reim Havim Kesamech Chayat Sircha Began Eden Mikhedem. We wish this young couple to be Besimcha just as Hashem was Mesameach his creatures in Gan Eden Mikhedem. So, what's this Bracha referring to? I heard from my brother in law in the name of Rabbi Victor Brazil that the Bracha is referring to Adam and Chava. A newly married couple may have spacus and doubts. Did I make the right decision? Is he the right one for me? Did we rush into things? There are so many questions. Adam and Chava, however, were the only people alive and there was no one else to marry when they got married. Therefore, they didn't have spacus and they were in a true state of simcha. So too with us, if we are truly able to believe that everything is happening to us for a good reason and that Hashem will look after us and our loved ones, just like he always does, then we too will be able to remove the spakers from us and thereby be removed of the pachat and amir Hashem be besimcha. Thank you for listening.